floor over to you. I know there's something you want to say. Yes, thanks, Jen. Um, as you probably have heard or have seen Friday night um, at the Lakers game, I want to apologize for my behavior. Um, you know, guys, I've preached for the last six and a half years, responsibility and accountability. And I take full responsibility for what transpired. It does not matter what Dylan Brooks said or how many times he said it. Me being the responsible person, me having the platform that I have and having so many people look up to me, I was wrong. I should have lowered the temperature in the arena. Instead, I turned the temperature up and I let it get out of hand. And I want to apologize to a few people. First of all, I want to apologize to the Lakers organization, Jeannie Buzz, the Buzz family. I apologize for any harm or unwanted attention that I brought to your organization. I want to apologize to the fans that were in attendance and the fans that watched on television, because that's not what you paid for and that's not what you tuned in to watch. Shannon Sharp should have been mentioned as, a, as someone that was at the game, not someone that let his emotions run high and get out of hand during the game. I want to apologize to the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies uh, organization and fans, I am sorry. More specifically, I want to apologize to Dylan Brooks. He is a fierce competitor, and seeing him up close, I get a sense of why he is what he is and how he's wired the way he's wired. Bruh, I apologize. I wish you the best of luck the, uh, the rest of the season and continued success. Ja, it was a privilege and an honor to watch you up close and personal. Skip and I talk about you a lot of times, but to see what you do, the way you're able to elevate, lead the floor, contort your body, and finish at the rim is, is, is unbelievable and, and extremely impressive. And I want to apologize to you. I also want to apologize to my stylist, Hollywood. Bro, you had an impeccable record before you took me on as a client. And I want to apologize for my behavior because you were in attendance. And if I caused any smudge on your resume, I'm deeply sorry for that. I also want to apologize to LeBron James because y'all know how I feel about him. And he supported me through thick and thin. And, bro, I'm sorry that I put you in this situation, that you had to support me in something like this. So I want to apologize to you. I want to apologize to my family. I want to apologize to my brother, my sister, my mom, my kids, and my grandson. Because one day you're going to be old enough and you're going to see what transpired in that arena. But I also hope you get an opportunity to see this, this apology that I'm giving. Because I was wrong. And I'm never going to be too big to say I'm sorry. I'm never going to be big, too big to say that I was wrong. And in that situation, I was absolutely wrong. And last but not least, I want to apologize to you, Turbo. You've been great to me. I appreciate everything that you've done over the last eight, nine months. I want to say I'm sorry. And again, to my Fox family, FS1, guys, I'm sorry for any unwanted attention that I brought your way. And I, ha I hate that you have to answer. No one should have to trend because of something that I did. So I want to apologize to anybody at Fox or FS1 that's had to answer questions on my behalf. What happened to Shannon? Why was Shannon doing this? I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not perfect. I am not. And I'm never going to say that wasn't Shannon Sharp because that was me. That was just me getting out of character. And I'm sorry for all those that saw my action and took offense to my actions. I am sorry. Yeah, that's all good. You did what I'm saying. Uh, my only issue with Shannon Sharp apology is this, right? It's the whole double standard thing for me. Because a couple of weeks ago, when Skip was dead ass wrong and Shannon came back to work, he stood on what he said with the disrespect. He acted as if though, you know, nobody had an issue with it, nobody had a problem with it. He didn't flat out emphatically apologize for what he said, what he tweeted, and his actions surrounding uh, DeMar Hamlin and that whole deal. But Shannon got to go out and make a full-throated apology whether he wanted to do it like that or not. You dig know what I'm saying? So that's my whole thing, man. Yeah, Shannon did the right thing. He felt like he, he was wrong. He got out of character. He apologized for it. Okay, cool. The other folks need to be held to the same standard. And that's why it's always an issue. And that's why it's always a conversation to be had about double standards. Some of these folk get to say what they want, do what they want, and everything's smooth. But other folks can't. Why? Why?